Hi guys, today is Wednesday the 5th of October um, and today, are you ready, are you ready? I am 52 weeks post-op from rural wide gastric bypass surgery. So yeah, tomorrow um, will be a year to the day that I went into hospital and then on Friday will be a year to the day that I had my rural wide gastric bypass surgery. That is just so crazy to me. I can't believe it's come round so fast. In one way, I feel like, where the hell has the past two weeks gone? And then in another way, I'm like, how has 52 weeks passed already? It's absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, there's going to be, I'm going to try, <laughs> um, and spam you with lots of videos um, this week. So um. I'm still transitioning between phones and things like that and then um, I kind of lost a lot of my pictures. They are online um, but I've been struggling to try and get them through and things like that so my videos may be a few days late. I may not be able to post them um, exactly on the days that they should be etc but um, I will do my best. So yeah first of all so this is an update video and I will make several videos over the next few days but I just want to say thank you so much for everyone's support for all my subscribers everyone like you have made this journey easy for me um yeah I don't want to go into it like blah 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 but honestly I, I don't know <laughs> I don't think that I would have got through it so well um if it wasn't for all you guys so I really really do appreciate you and I love all the, the support that you give and the motivation and everything so yeah so um i didn't update last week because i had a silly accident <laughs> which i'm healing fine thank you so much for all your messages it really means a lot um i made a mini list like it is really little um but i because i'm going to be making lots of videos this week or i plan to um i didn't want to do too much or say certain things because i want that in a particular video and things like that so bear with me um I did my measurements this week. I didn't do them last week. I had to cut a week out, as you know, I won't keep mentioning it. Um, so let's do measurements. Um, now, I did my measurements at the start of my, I think it was like pre-op. Um, I think it was just before my pre-op diet. So it was probably around July, August-ish um, of last year, 2015. Um, so these measurements that I'm going to tell you today are from then. So this is from before my pre-op diet. Um, so this week, I, well, technically it's in the past two weeks because I didn't um, measure last week. So I've lost two and a half inches. So I thought I'd go through. I know I've done it a couple of times before, but I thought I'd go through and let you know exactly where I've lost my inches and how many in total. So um, pre-op, I, sorry, my phone's going off. Um, pre-op. I measured my neck, my underbust, my arm, my waist, my belly, um, my thigh and my calf. Um, so that is all that I measured, like recorded, and that those are the only places that um that I say, you know, when I say each week I've lost this many inches, they're off the places. So um I thought I'd go through and just let you know how many from each place so from my neck I've lost seven inches um, from my well from this arm <laughs> I have lost uh, six inches from the un like my underbust I've lost 21 inches um, from my waist I've lost 25 inches from my belly I've lost 35 inches um, from my thigh, I've lost 16 inches. And um, from my calf, I have lost 8 inches. So that is um, a grand total of 118 inches that I've lost from around my body um, in 52 weeks, maybe a little bit more. Um, so just over a year. Um, I am down since since like pre-op diet. So since from, from the 1st of September, um, I'm down... 10 dress sizes, 10 UK dress sizes, um, which is just so crazy to me. And yeah, 118 inches. So yeah, 
big difference <laughs> big big difference yeah it's crazy i can't believe like oh, i've been watching all my old videos not all of them but i've been watching a couple of my old videos and i really i think hand on heart i did not think that this surgery would work for me which i think is probably a fear for like everyone but i just did not think i knew that i would do my utmost i would do everything in my power to make the surgery work which i did and um, but i still just didn't have the faith like i just everything had like always gone to shit for me eventually um you know anything that i truly uh, that, that, anyway i'm not gonna get into that it's really negative and horrible but um yeah just I knew that I needed it to work and I knew like this was the last chance and I knew that I would do everything in my power to make it work but I still just didn't really truly believe that it would work um so yeah it just makes everything like a million times better <laughs> um yeah so I'm, I mean I'm only a year out I'm not at goal or anything yet I didn't expect to be by any stretch of the imagination um I have I think I've you know surpassed at least my own expectations greatly um I, I could not imagine i couldn't imagine getting to where i am now in just a year and um, so i am uber proud of myself <laughs> i am um completely in awe of like what I've achieved which sounds really like uh, I don't know egotistical it's not like that I don't mean it in that way I just mean that usually when I work my ass off I don't get any benefits and this time I work my ass off and it's working and it's it's just such a big motivation and it just makes you feel like we'll just keep going because it's still going to keep working and you're going to get to where you want to and it's just crazy so yeah um I will tell you my BMI and everything I'm um I'll do that in a separate video because I don't want to talk about that now because I haven't been weighed on since the 31st of August and um, I've done that deliberately I've been trying not to weigh myself and I haven't I have succeeded in not weighing myself and um, it was getting a little bit where I needed to weigh in and I don't know why that was and um, probably going on the wee fit so much and that tells you to sort of like weigh yourself and things and then um, yeah it was all getting a bit much so I just thought I'm not weighing in now I know a lot of people are doing the no way October but because it I don't weigh in daily or even weekly I weigh in monthly um at sort of minimum really a month um I'm not going to do that and especially because um it's my one year tomorrow well it's one year since I went into in, into hospital tomorrow and um I actually have an appointment with my nurse so uh, I'm going to get away there and um she's going to do my BMI and everything for the NHS and um I've got to get my vitamin B12 injection and have my bloods done as well for my, for my year um so yeah that's tomorrow so i wanted to tell you about that as well so i'll probably do a video tomorrow if i can because i've got to go to work after etc but um i'll do a video tomorrow and um let you guys know how that went and what i weigh and then i can sort of say my bmi from a year then um and stuff so it'd be more accurate than if i say it now which um you know will change tomorrow so <laughs> yeah i might as well just wait um so tomorrow like I keep saying, is a year since I went into hospital because I had to go in the day before I had my surgery. And it's actually my best friend's birthday tomorrow. So this year I get to celebrate her birthday, which means the world to me because, yeah, last year, this time last year, um, on her birthday, I was going into hospital. I had to stay in hospital overnight and it was really, really far away and stuff. And um, she literally put her birthday on hold and was just all about me she messaged me all day and stuff I tried to make it about her and was like sending her pictures and making all memes and things like that and posting um you know our video etc and she just she was not having it so this year I've tried to proper spoil her rotten <laughs> which is utterly deserved um she she's my rock I'm gonna start crying, but no, she's she's just like the 
the best person. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going around to hers tonight and then probably won't see her tomorrow because she's out with family um, but we have a party planned on Saturday so we're taking her out, she wants to go bowling and we're going go, to act like kids and go to the arcades and um, these like dance machines and arcade games and things like that so we're doing that and then we're going to go to hers and have um, a party at hers. That's so exciting. So yeah, um, that's on Saturday. It's going to be a busy week this week. So, um, on Friday on my actual surge anniversary, uh, I know people don't like that saying. I don't mind it. I kind of like it. Um, or ass. <laughs> um, Mikey is taking me out for the day. Um, uh, we're gonna go into uh, the town centre. Um, and well it's the city centre, he calls it town, there's a big debate, anyway, I'm um, going to go into the main city centre, Um, he's taking me shopping and then there's this, uh, it's not new new but it's like new-ish, Um, it's a, it's like a fast food joint but it's healthy fast food and it's um for like bodybuilders so it's like a protein fast food joint which I'm so excited to try Um, and it has like everything on the menu is packed full of protein um is like got all healthy fats and healthy nutrition um but it's still sort of like naughty-ish food um but it's done in a healthier way i'm not explaining it very well <laughs> um i'm just really excited because i don't often eat out and i'm gonna do whatever i want i'm gonna eat what i want but everything has the macros written on it so everything has the calories the carbs the fat everything like the protein it, every single item has all the macros on it which just makes me feel whew, so much at ease <laughs> i just like that i just like to know what i'm eating um so i'm so excited to try there and just gonna just go out and just do what i want it's gonna be amazing so yeah, to treat myself <laughs> with food. <laughs> so stupid, but um, no, we're going shopping as well, and like probably get uh, enough clothes as well because <laughs> I've not got enough. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna be really, really nice. And then Saturday it's my best friend's birthday party, and then Sunday uh, is my dad's birthday party. Well, it's not a party. We're going out, and taking him out for a meal. Um. I just said to you, oh, I don't eat out, yeah. Um, I'm not going to be able to eat, like, anything at this restaurant that he loves. It's literally, it's an Italian place, but it's literally just carbon fat, like, nightmare. It's awful. So, um, yeah, probably going to be, like, sneaking a protein bar in my bag. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm not hungry, I'm, like, starving. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be eating on Sunday. Um, and then Monday's his actual birthday. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. I've got a cake to make as well. Um, obviously I'm making my best friend's birthday cake. And then my dad doesn't like, like he likes cake, but on his birthday he likes, um, I make a cheesecake, a white chocolate and vanilla cheesecake. So that's his, that's his uh, go-to. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> so they're all going to be stuffed in the face. Um, so yeah, right. It's almost like 15 minutes in and I'm just rambling. So what's happened in the past two weeks? Um, on a negative note, I actually like threw up properly for the first time since surgery. Didn't do bad, you know, almost 52 weeks uh, of not being sick. Um, I ate, oh, it's so funny, right? I ate, um, it's called a custard apple. Um, but the other term for it is a sugar apple. Did I clock this? No. Did I think about it? No. <laughs> and what's really funny, um, is Jackie said that she ate this um, fruit and it made her sick. And I'm pretty sure it was the same one, you know, like thinking about it. So if you are Rue and Y or I'm not sure if ESG, you'll probably be fine. But if you are Rue and Y, do not <laughs> or proceed with caution um, to eat a custard apple um, or a sugar apple. I'm not sure of the actual like official name of it but that's like what I've always called them um because yeah it wasn't fun it's the first time proper throwing up I mean it wasn't like pre-op throwing up at all but it was yeah I won't go into graphic detail but um yeah it was like ow not good so yeah staying away from those 
Um, I've just been drinking loads of water, which she says. been trying to keep hydrated um doing really well it's been like weeks now and doing it every single day so i'm really proud of myself um that oh my god that hormonal hangry is finally over oh my god that was torture it was like usually it's a day or two three at the most this was like three weeks <laughs> which is like <laughs> so that's gone Whew. um yeah, I've gone from like one extreme to the other where I couldn't even eat the other day. Like I was like, eh, I don't want to eat. And I was like literally forced myself to get my protein in and, and fluids in and stuff. Um, and now actually the past, like I think it started like yesterday or the day before. When I eat, I've got like a weird feeling like I feel starving. But like as soon as I eat something, I'm like, ah, I don't want to eat anymore. And then it's like, but I'm still hungry. Like now I'm in pain because I feel hungry. It's like sort of trap wind pain. It's hard to explain. Um, But I've like not eaten today because when I did try and eat something, I literally had two bites of um the Arla um, snack pot vanilla um, with the seeds in and the dried fruit. And I was just like, yeah. I don't want it. And I put it back. And now I'm like in in pain because I'm hungry. But I just can't face anything. So. God, if it's not one thing. It's the other. It's, it's not like gorging. It's it's like yeah I can't eat anything. Never mind. Um, because of the accident that I had. Um, I've been on antibiotics this week. So I don't know. I've never. I've not been on antibiotics in surgery. So I don't know whether that will be changing anything or anything is different. But let me tell you, the tablets that they give me are like this. I was like, all oh, right, nice one. And I told them obviously that I've had real wine. They just like packed me up with these. They li I'm not even like. I wish I was like over exaggerating and taking the piss, but like literally they like that. So I've had to snap them in half, which I know I'm gonna get shouted at because you should not snap. Um, any medications unless you've been specifically told so I do not recommend that please check I didn't I was in the mood and was like eh. but like I literally tried to take it and it got stuck and it hurt for so long and it was like uh -huh. so it was either don't take them or snap them in half so I've been snapping them in half um so yeah I don't know whether that might be affecting like how I'm feeling or anything like that or I don't know um so that's happening so yeah, weigh in tomorrow, so I'll do another video tomorrow, and then I think that's about it, really. Apart from the fact that it looks really sunny now, I have got all the lights on in my living room. <laughs> um, it's September, oh, well, it's not September, it's October. Oh, obviously it's October. Um, it's October, it's meant to be like autumn, but today it's like super sunny, but it's freezing. But I love this weather because it's like, it's still nice and bright, but it's cold. And I used to always love it because I was always hot no matter what. I was like, always really, really warm. And now I'm so cold. Ugh. I'm always cold. I'm so cold. I'm frozen. And like my dog, she's always cold as well now. And we're both wrapped up. She's coming over now. We're both wrapped up like <laughs> like freezing <laughs> with all like blankets and stuff and um I have my house coat like my dressing gown that actually I could I me and Mikey can both fit in it at the same time and wrap it and it fit and that has never ever fitted me before which is a weird NSV um it's miles too big and it's amazing because i literally can wrap it fully over me and then wrap it fully over again um so it's literally double the size that i need oh it's amazing and i'm still wearing my old onesie which is a uk size 34 because that's what i started off at and it was actually tight when i got it i've got a picture of me in it um and yeah it's not tight anymore i can fit my whole body in one leg <laughs> which is funny um, but I've been wearing that and I was actually wearing it when I hurt my finger and my hand when I had my accident so I had to get changed with like all glass in my hand it was like ridiculous but 
I wasn't going to go hospital in my onesie. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh dear. So yeah, I think that's it for my 52 week update. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Um, so I will update you guys tomorrow and then on Friday it's my surgery anniversary. You're going to be so sick of me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so yeah. Have an amazing week guys. I love you. Bye.